Okay, let's go ahead and build the base for our cockpit here. The swivel. So let's grab a cylinder. And we'll drag it out like this. About that, about that big. We'll bring it back. We'll make it 1.2 meters. About 1.2 meters. And we'll pull it up a little bit. Like so. I'm going to delete the top one. I'm going to delete the bottom one just so I can work. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to select these verts. These first three verts. Like this. I'm going to push them back. Straight back like that. Then I'm going to grab these edges to front, these corner edges here. I'm going to bevel them with a round level of zero. Then I'm going to grab these inside ones that we just beveled. It's a little trick. And I'm going to push them straight back. See that? Now, We can do the same thing here by taking this one and this one and beveling it. Taking the inside edges and moving them back. Now we have us a nice little cutout for when this thing swivels down. So let's grab our outer edges, fill them in. I'm going to leave this as a polygon instead of a sub D surface. Because I have to go in there and cut this sucker up and delete some points and stuff. You see right there how it's pinching. And I'm going to leave it like this. So first, let's go ahead and run my common loop slices. Because um, I like to just have some loop slices on my mesh. Okay. So now we have this cool little swivel that goes on our base. And I guess we could shrink it down a little. So, and when this thing pivots downwards, it's going to have a nice cutout for it. Okay. Maybe we can make it a little bigger, pull it forward just a little bit. Like so. Now we've got a nice cutout for our cannon and cockpit swivel. I'm not sure how much time we got. We could try to go ahead and build half of the cockpit if we wanted to. Um, let's see here. Let's go out. Let's grab a circle. Let's draw a circle. We'll say 1.2 meters by 1.2 meters. And we'll pull it up. 1.2 meters. That way it's the same on all sides. Okay, so now we've got to rotate this thing around like this. 90 degrees. I'm going to do it 90 degrees on the X. That way we have our rows of polygons going this way. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this row here. Loop select it. Invert my selection and delete. Now I have this ring right here. So I'm going to grab these polygons up top here like this and get rid of those. Now I'm going to run my thicken tool like so. And I'm going to grab this end and this end, bevel them in with the red handle and pull them out. Give it that loop at the end there. So now let's go ahead and move this over a little bit. Like so. Okay, so now let's grab this middle edge and bevel it with no round level. Okay. Now we can grab, let's see what polygons do we grab here. 
let's grab these front ones right here. Pull on them. We want to make sure we group our polygons. Don't want to squeeze them together too much. We might have to use extrude faces. So let's drop our tool and scale them down to flatten them up like that. And I'm going to shrink them. Not be so wide. And I'm going to get my W key. Bring it right on down into there. But we're, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it short because we got to bring our cockpit down. So now let's do this one. I think that might be a little bit too far out. Yeah. Let's do the ones below it. Right there. We'll bevel them. Pull them down. Drop the tool. Grab our scale tool and we'll scale them in and even them up like this. Now let's W key and bring this down. Okay now let's quickly run some loop slices. Slice count of two symmetry. I'm going to run some loop slices up and down all the flat faces. And on the inside, and around the legs. That way, when I subdivide this thing, it holds its shape. Okie dokie. Now we have half of the cockpit. Let's move this back over. Like so. Forward. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to instance this or just mirror it, but I think I'm going to instance it. So I'll go to duplicate, instance mirror. If I hold it, you'll, you can hold on it. You can select instance mirror. I'm going to mirror it in the Z. I'll mirror it right over like that right there. And now we have the beginning cage of our cockpit that our gun will be attached to. So I hope you all pick something up and we'll see you in the next video.